Okay, so how well do you truly understand percent? Well, if you've got a good solid understanding of percent, you ought to be able to do this problem. And the problem is X is Y percent of Z. And a matter of fact, I'll even let you use your calculator. So some of you might be saying, well, okay, Mr. YouTube Math Man, how am I possibly going to use a calculator? Because, you know, you're not giving me any numbers. You just got a bunch of variables, and I can't find an answer to this. Well, you are correct. Okay, we use our calculator to plug in numbers. There are no numbers, so our answer in this particular problem is going to be an algebraic expression. So yes, indeed, algebra uh, can be used to solve a lot of percent problems. So that's a bit of a clue. Uh, if you think you could do this, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. Of course, I'm going to cover this uh, exactly here in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades, and I'm telling you right now, you can be successful in mathematics. I'm especially talking to those of you that are struggling with uh, in math right now. Okay, so please don't give up, but what you need is great math instruction. Clear, understandable, comprehensive, and that's where I can help you out. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level uh, in terms of your math courses, check out my math help program. You can find a link to it in the description of this video. I promise it can help you out. Also, if you are preparing for some sort of test like the SAT, ACT, ASVAB, teacher certification exam, I have a ton of test prep courses that can help you out. If you homeschool, I have great homeschool courses that you might be interested in. Now, hopefully you have your own great math notes. Okay, this is a must to do well in mathematics. But if you don't, I'm going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this video as well. And if this video helps you out, consider liking and subscribing as this helps me out. So let's get into this problem about percent, which, of course, you know, the more you know about percent, the better off you're going to be in the real uh, real world because percent is everywhere. Um, you know, financially, you can't turn on the news We're talking without uh, the news uh, talking about inflation, credit cards, mortgage rates, you know, then right now you got all kinds of sales going on. So you want to know a lot about percent. OK, so let's take a look at this problem. So X is Y percent of Z. So you might be a little bit lost with this. You're like, OK, what do I even do here? Because I got a bunch of variables. Well, a good strategy to figure out a problem with a bunch of variables and no numbers is to replace some of the variables with numbers and see if it makes sense. Remember, in algebra, a variable is just representing an uh, actual number. Okay, It's a placeholder for a number. So this number would be different than this number would be different than this number. So when you confuse, and by the way, this strategy is good for not only a problem like this, but any problem where you're, you're not quite sure to do uh, what to do with the variables, replace some of the variables with numbers and see if it makes uh, better sense to you. So let's go ahead and replace uh, Y and Z with actual numbers. So uh, that would look something like this. Uh, X is, and then I'm going to put 7 for Y. Okay, so X is 7%. Of, and then for Z, we'll put 80. Okay, so X is 7% of 80. So now here, ask yourself, all right, do I know how to do this problem? Okay, well, this should be a pretty easy problem for you to do. Don't get too confused with this X is part right here. Okay, if I just gave you this part of the problem, 7% of 80 is what? Most of you be like, oh, okay, let me go ahead and get my calculator because you can probably give me the answer immediately. But let's go ahead and just um, break this down uh, this way. So X is 7% of 80. Really what we want is 7% of 80 is what? But let's uh, go ahead and translate this statement because we're going to need to know how to do this for the actual problem we're trying to uh, solve into an algebraic equation. So X is just X is Anytime you see the word is in a uh, actual verbal sentence, when you translate it to math, it's always an equal sign. So X is or X is equal to, so we're going to put the equal sign here, 7% we can express as 0 0.07. Now, this is really, really important. How do we write 7%? Matter of fact, let me do it right here, um, 7%. So how do we go from a percent to a decimal, okay, because... Um, here, 7%, we're going to express as 0 0.07, that decimal, and then we're going to multiply it by 80. So let me just finish this out. So here, we have X is equal to 0 0.07 times 80. 
But let me just go back and revisit this part of the problem, okay? How do you go from a percent to a decimal? Well, there's two things you can um, uh, do here, okay? You can take the percent and divide by 100, okay? So this is equivalent to the fraction 7 over 100. Or you could take this uh, decimal, I'm sorry, this percent here, which is 7.0% and move the decimal um, point two places to the left, so you would get 0 0.07. Okay, so 0 0.07 or 7 hundredths is the same thing as this fraction, 7 hundredths. So I could choose to write 7 over 100 here, or 0 0.07. Typically, you're going to write the decimal value because we are using our calculator, and then the, uh, this right here would be nice and easy to calculate in our calculator or by hand. So 0 0.07 times 80 is 5.6. So x is equal to 0.07 times 80, which is uh, x is equal to 5.6. And we can just check that and we'll say, okay, 5.6 out of 80 is 0.07 or 7%. Okay, so hopefully you understand all these basic percent principles because you're not going to be able to do a problem like this, okay, if you don't understand those basic percent uh, uh, principles. So let's go ahead and do the same thing here with um, our original problem, x is y percent of z. So we're going to go ahead and translate this. So x is just x, is is the equal sign. Now y percent, so you're saying, well, where is the decimal point? It's not like you got y point zero and you can go like two places over with the decimal point, right? Point zero y, because we don't know where the decimal point is at. However, what I can do is I could put this over 100. Okay, remember, anytime like you have 7%, uh, that's the definition of percent is that value over 100. So 7 out of 100. So this would be equivalent to y over 100. And then we're going to multiply that by z. So x is y percent, which is the same thing as y over 100. And then we're going to multiply that by z. So algebraically, we have uh, y over 100 times z over 1. So how do I do that? We just multiply the numerators. So yz over 100 times 1, which is 100. So x is equal to yz over 100. This is the answer. Okay, if you put zy, that's perfectly fine. But this is the answer. So I'm curious, how many of you got that correct answer? Well, if you uh, were able to um, actually do this, I must go ahead and give you a nice little happy face. Matter of fact, I'll give you two A pluses there. And I'll give you 125% and a few stars so you can feel extra special today. That's pretty good. Okay, so what you're showing me is that not only do you have a solid understanding of percent, you have a good understanding of how to translate a uh, verbal sentence into an equation and uh, come up with an algebraic expression that uh, represents the answer. Okay, so this type of problem does show up on various tests. So again, you know, don't have this expression. You know, you're not going to be able to do every single problem, you know, percent problem with your calculator. Oftentimes, uh, more often than not, actually, you're going to have to use algebra. Okay, so if you uh, need additional help with percent, let me give you a couple of suggestions. One, I have a ton more videos on my YouTube channel about percent, but if you want to learn it in a more formal way, um, I would uh, consider taking one of three courses of mine. One, uh, my Math Foundations course, if you want to just review basic arithmetic, you can find these, of course, all at my uh, website. Uh, that is a great little three-chapter mini course that really goes over all the basics that you learned and probably a lot of you forgot. The second course I would recommend is Pre-Algebra, if you're at that level. And then I also teach this in my Algebra 1 course as well. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.